Yo, what's going on guys, Selectorch here. This is gonna be one of those less edited videos where I just like ramble a little bit, you know? Just wanna talk about the update just like I did on my other patch review. Just wanna talk about the game's patches and stuff. This update has honestly been a little bit underwhelming in, in a way. First off, PVE changes with card freezing. I think they're really cool. The max luck thing, so right here, 25% base luck, and then max luck is now 45%. Really good stuff right here. I really like this change. I guess it kind of makes deep bound on the surface a little more irrelevant. I guess you can still get thresher luck, so that's cool. This change is one of my favorite right here, making these cards priority talents. But it just fucking happens, they appear. Really good change. Unique crit on Enforcer's Axe, really cool. Flame Leap Reversal Spark. This is also pretty awesome, but there's a couple bugs of them. And the radar is literally just the, um, the grasp, the grass counter. That's literally what this is. I haven't seen this talent talked about yet so i'll get around to it if something happens i'll just mention it in the comments or something uh i honestly don't know what this is buff pips i guess it's just like added info to equipments and stuff the new loot changes with like rarities and stars and color backgrounds i think that's really cool the little icons are nice but yeah for the most part a lot of the changes that were made were pretty good on the pve side of things now when it comes to pvp right when it comes to pvp this change right here i don't know how i'm feeling about it being so right here it says stun for being parried is now decreased across the board parry stun length is now weapon based on your weapon class so if you are pairing a light weapon the stun the person receives should be shorter than if you were pairing a heavy weapon correct then we have these matchups where two light weapon users are both fighting each other and they're both pairing and it ends up just being a spam fest of just f and m1 which is terrible like it's honestly very terrible like i got in game to see what the changes were and this is what it feels like right now if two light users are fighting each other it is horrible to actually fight each other it's absolutely horrible and horrid it's whoever can spam m1 the fastest and whoever can press f the fastest like who can spam it harder it's good in theory but in practice it's not it's definitely not it i hope they revert this change or do something to fix whatever the fuck is happening right now but yeah for the most part i do not like it ice blade damage increase this is cool i want to see more mantras being used that are not relevant in the game right now fire gun damage increase if you guys see my fire gun video really good mantra even better now with the damage increase if it actually works hey sometimes you guys let these things fly under the radar and they just don't work <laughs> fire and ice servants now attack faster fire servants i know pretty much trivializes a lot of the pve mobs i was doing trial of one with burning servants and killing enforcer was super easy you just insta posture break as soon as you cast it it's a really good mantra now i think it'll be really useful in pvp as well maybe with lava servant path maybe we'll see more of that in pvp Ice Servants, I'm pretty pretty sure it just works similar to it, if not the same. Pretty cool. Um, Def and Corn now would... I guess this is cool. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Probably irrelevant to me. Uh, Grass no longer teleports Hunter back. These are... Okay, cool, cool. I know that you can teleport back actually with Grass, or I think what... Yeah, if you do go on a hunt and use your teleport bell commonly, it actually TPs you back, so it's like a get-out-of-jail-free card. I don't know if that's a bug or not. If it is, it should definitely get removed. If not, then I guess keep it in the game. Whatever. I don't really care. Uh, fear Mail Health lightly lowered. I guess, yeah, fights being dragged too long is kind of annoying, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, it just makes farming fair a little bit better. Uh, Jusakar Armor now being reduced to 35%, but give Ether Regen. Now this, this is good. For the sole reason, we will probably see less of this attunementless... Heavy res builds, 500 HP dupe kit all the fucking time. Maybe. Just maybe. Or we'll probably see more people running Juicer Car over stuff like, um, I don't know, Profix Cloak or maybe even Black Diver. Probably see more of that. I don't know what we were thinking giving the Vayne Wave Chief uh, elemental res to 30% and giving it 25% penetration. Like, this is. Why does Fist need a buff? Like, Wave in the Vay is literally the best fighting style in the game. I'm going to make a video on Wave in the Vay. Because this is actually brain dead. Or not Wave Neve specifically, but Wave Neve in general needs to be looked at. It really does, in my opinion. Illusion, mm, whatever, I don't really care. Buff summon duration, never been Vision Shaper, so I don't know. Uh, stealth, this is cool. Stealth being more relevant. I know right now if you have two um, assassin related stuff, it gives you high stealth. I don't know if that's intentional, but if it is, that's really cool. I like it a lot. Uh, Void Walkers, uh, yeah, whatever. Balance and optimizations for most part, these are just bug fixes, which is cool. Love to see bug fixes, make sure the game is working properly. Uh, it looks like Dairy Dagger Parry Stun slightly increased. Fist Parry Stun increased to be higher than Dagger. Okay. I don't know if this is out currently because it looks like it was a separate patch that they just shut down for it. If it is out, I guess this is cool. But yeah, when I first did 
when I was first writing Dagger v Dagger, it was terrible and it's just not fun. It's whoever can literally spam M1 the most, who can spam M1 the faster, who can hit faster. Literally, it's just, it, and at that point, it just becomes super ping reliant. It's not fun. This isn't fun. Although, playing Rapier does feel more satisfying, especially on my Storm Rapier slot. These parry changes where they uh, get less done, if you do manage to proc Storm after the hit, they can't fight. They can't necessarily fight back. You have like more window to hit them. If you've seen Punchy's video on like Storm, I think he talked about it. Like, oh, you can play like a time-based combat where you like base it off. Yeah, this change is pretty cool for Storm indirectly. Uh, but yeah, other than that, this update's been like um, PVE-wise, I would say eight, nine out of ten. PVE-wise, yeah, okay, buddy. <laughs> Oh man, you guys need a you guys need a proper balancing team or something. I don't know what's going on there, but without further ado, peace out, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Love you.